We brought you here and there is a reason. Because that area, first area, that mountain was no fire. There was no forest fire there. And then when you turn to your right side, right side, you see that area, there are dead trees. And you might ask, how come there are still dead trees there? Because we couldn't get to a final understanding with the owner of that mountain. So we couldn't trim down those trees. And then if you turn to the right side, you see some trees growing at that, this side. This area we, we had already restored. So we wanted to show you all the facts of restoration in here in Korea. So you can see all of that here. That is why we brought you here. Because when we have a very big forest fires, we cannot make humans to go up there because it is yes, so dangerous. Yes, yes. So we use helicopters instead of manpower to yes. turn out the fire. So in this nearby houses, we don't plant the trees very nearby the houses. We, mm -hmm. we have certain meters that we have to trim down the trees nearby the houses because the life is the most mm -hmm. valuable thing. Yeah. So that's what we do. And then also we have the fire extinct, uh, extinction uh, services, extinguisher. extinguisher all around the, the, the village area. Mm -hmm. Because in case of fire, people can also use this. And if there is a fire, when, when the village people see that there is a fire, what they do is they use the hose to wet their houses, oh, and very, nearby areas. Uh, also, when we have a big fire, we don't want this fire to jump to the other side. So sometimes we, make, we dig a hole or, or we get rid of the, the leaves fallen down. Mm -hmm. People help doing that. The village people will help because anyway, if this fire becomes stronger, this can affect with the money and the lives of the people in the village. So when we were doing the plan, plan when we were making the plan to restore this area, instead of planting only pine trees with one species, we made, you know, like the wind breaking system. We have a fire breaking system. We have certain trees that they are very resistant of forest fire, yeah. and there are uh, there are trees that uh, we make 50 meters to 40 meters all around this pine trees area. So if it burns, it only burns that area. Okay. It, the fire wouldn't go all. First, when you want to harvest mm -hmm. that area, you see at the other side of the mountain, which is like rounded shape, that yeah. area yeah. is harvest. Yeah. Like yeah. they cut down the timbers. And if, if, even though you're a private owner, you must get a license or you must yeah. ask for a permission before you trim down the trees. Mm -hmm. First of all, the tree must be mature to cut down. So when the trees in that area had completed with their age, then we give them, we give individuals rights to harvest. First of all, I would like to welcome all you guys that you guys came here. This city name is Kang Leng. So this is our third day and this is our two days. It's the third day, but we, we are spending two days in the Gangneung city, yes? So this area was affected by the forest fire and I would like to share you about the story. So actually, we, uh, Super Boss was gonna come and give you guys explanation, but he had other other meetings, so she came instead. Much better. This this district, this area is called Okemyeon Chonnam Li, the name of the village. Chonnam Li. There was a very big forest fire at 2019, 4th of April. April. Yes, thank you. And the, uh, the forest fire was quite big, 986 hectares. This area is national forest, also individual forest. So we would like to share with you guys how we uh, restore the forest fire area stage by stage. So let's say when there's a forest fire, after the fire is all set down, first we have to calculate the total area of the forest fire. With this, the area calculation, we make our plan of restoring. And when there is a living area, nearby the living area, and we think, or the road, the main road or the living area, when we think there can be a second effects like erosions or, or because of the water yeah. erosion, then we first cut down the trees in this area. So in this area, when we cut down the trees, we try to uh, gather them up and try to resell them. And this, this cost or this much money that we make, we try to give it to the owner of that area or the owner of the nearby houses. So this, we use it as a perp or we make it as a pellet. You know the pellet? We grind yeah. it pellet and for fuel. So let's say Sunny owns this land 
Oh, I'm rich. <laughs> so, and then let's say there was a forest fire. I'm the owner. And then if it's possible, the people that they buy the wood, they will come with me. The government will help to gather up. And if it, instead of me selling to the government, I will send to the person who is in who is doing that and I will give them outsourcing and they will cut it and then they will pay the money to me. So depending on afterwards trimming down all the dead trees or the burned the trees, we make our plan depending on what kind of species that we are going to replant in this area. 2019, 4th of April, there was a forest fire in this area and for four years we started our, we had uh, started our reforestation and we did it starting from 2019 October and this October we will finish the four year project of reforestation in this area. So at this area, our ex-president Moon Jae-in, he came here personally and he came here and he planted pine trees at the day of the tree planting day. Uh, so when there is a forest fire and you are an owner of a private land, private forest, you don't have, you have to pay zero money. It is all by government, government support. <laughs> but for example, that area which it is harvested, that area uh, in the private individual must uh, pay 10% of the cost of the harvest.